Hey, how's it going? So let me tell you, about 20 years ago, I tore the cartilage in my knee and the doctor told me by the time I was 40, I'll be walking with a permanent limp and a cane all the time. If I got to 42, have some seasonal pains, weather pains every now and then, but it's been all right. And just before Halloween, it started acting up and started feeling stiff and it was hard to walk on. And it's been like that ever since. I don't know, it finally caught up to me, I think. But you know what? This video is not about me. Let me show you. This is just me peeling this off. Not probably too much for you to see yet. I'll let you know, okay? All right, I'm gonna take it all off now. Children playing, swinging on swings, having a gee golly old time. It was a great American pastime. Swinging, jumping, landing and rolling. This is the America we knew. Until it all takes a turn for the worse. Swing over there from about five feet. Yeah. Has a possible broken femur. Oh my god. So we're gonna start an IV in with your permission, give him some fentanyl. Yeah. Do I have your permission to do that? Yes you do. Sucks having a weight. Should have just rolled with them. There you are. I just need a couple signatures from you. He's doing good back there. He's getting good hands down. They're gonna tell me I think it's uh, the tibia and the fibula that broke just below the knee. Right. He does have some good deformity to him. The fentanyl and the birth that we gave him definitely helped with pain. This is the father. This is Monty. Monty Justin. Yeah, right. 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 And left it on the rock. Okay, it was like a really big crack in it. Oh, you heard it? Yep. Everybody else heard it too. Damn. Too, too hefty to be doing that. <laughs> this is, my leg was stiff. Oh, the right one. Can I go pillow with you right there? This is so far. Where do you want the pillow? Like on the other side. Yeah, absolutely. What I want you to do is pay attention to this part coming up. See how delicate that nurse takes with his leg. Thank you. All right. Other ones didn't really do it that much after this. I just want to make sure there was no break, right, in the skin? It didn't pop out, bone didn't pop out anywhere? No. Gotta get that knee up somehow, or the leg up somehow to wrap it. Be a Pain, ten being the worst pain, how much pain you have right now? Three. Did she call it? She's good, huh? <laughs> Before you get there? Because um, I need that signature. Uh, shouldn't be that far behind again. Okay. Unless, you, unless you want to walk up to the garage inside before we leave. Oh yeah, I can do that too. I gotta stop here and wait here for the wife. She's like about 30 minutes out. When she gets here, then we're gonna head over to Rochester. And hopefully we we're not that far behind the ambulance. Ambulance. That's my second youngest, he's a little soldier. He's actually the biggest. Yeah, he's handling the pain pretty well, man. I was just thinking about when my cartilage went out of my knee, I wasn't able to handle it that well. I think I might've teared up. But yeah, you know what I'm saying.
and then after we do that, then we'll make a determination on, you know, what you need. I think you're probably going to need some plates, just because, like I said, your growth plates are pretty much getting close to being done, um, and you're a big, strong boy, so we want to give you the best fixation we can get, okay? I don't want to skimp out, so I'm going to get you back to those swings. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so you guys just relax. Dun, 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 dun. All right. Okay. All right. <laughs> you want to blow your nose? <laughs> That's not okay. <laughs> Like it's still in there. <laughs> yeah, uh, that may be the worst part of your stay here in the hospital. <laughs> I said when that nurse was the most careful when we got into the room there was one nurse who obviously didn't look at the problem and the issue because he was being very careless with his leg i remember getting pretty irritated with him then that morning when they're getting ready to take him out to go for surgery the same nurse was being rough with him it's like i jumped up and the mom jumped up <laughs> we both jumped up like protective ass bears like surrounded them real quick and after we surrounded them like they're extra careful that nurse never came back after that probably went back and told him like dude you're off this you're off this <laughs> and other ones that did stick around they're more careful after. and even when he went down for extras i made sure and went down with him and was in the room and i was making sure that they're being careful with his knee i had to warn him like tell him no you gotta hold his leg like this you can't move it like that you be careful just thought i'd interject that real quick here's your little boy <laughs> He's sleepy, but he's doing yeah. great, you guys. Yes, everything went well. He looks good. He's just taking some time to wake up, so. Um, I don't have any. Some 15 year old boys. Yes. yes. <laughs> yeah. Like some of the highest and jump up, and like all of them heard like the pause and oh, crack. And, buddy. and eventually you'll wake up more and more, and it'll make more sense. <laughs> Stop. I just want to remember this. Okay, no. Was it fun? Did you remember anything? Went down, down a hill. Went down a hill? So it sucks. Came to the wrong place. Supposed to go downtown anyway. Damn it. They said it's okay that we're late though. Gotta bring the car back up. Uh -oh. Oh. oh 
Oh shit, I'm sorry. I know it's gonna be that. Oh fuck, I'm sorry. Oh, I forgot it. So if you want mine, Dad, maybe. I don't know. I don't know if you'll be able to do that because I might need some help holding his leg up. Okay. Well, maybe. Let's see. Mm -hmm. That's okay right there. Wait, I want to get wait, all wait. this off. Wait. Okay. Is there something I like put my leg? You want right there? Is that better? You can rest this on my leg too. What's hurting? No, cause what's making? What's hurting? Am I lifting it too high? Yeah, I think. Okay. How about there? It's better. Okay. We're gonna take all of this off. Ooh. A lot of pain right now or just nervous? Okay, well, don't be too nervous. We're not going to do anything too okay. scary here. You want it back down? Yeah. Okay. I'm just scared to look at it. Well, you don't have to. Do you want to not look at it? No, I don't want to. Okay, you don't have to. Don't look then. Now, I want you to take note of something. Look at how weak that quad muscle is already compared to that guy. You see that, you guys? <laughs> And that's because we've had him in this immobilizer, and he's not able, and anytime you operate around the knee, this muscle goes to sleep, okay? Mm -hmm. But he needs to stay in that knee immobilizer now for, I mean, basically until this quad is strong enough to do that. So that's going to be a while yet, mm -hmm. okay? All right, I'm going to start taking this off now. First, it's just me peeling this off. Not probably too much for you to see yet. I'll let you know, okay? All right, I'm going to take it all off now. Okay, it looks awesome. Take some Holy crap. It's all so, good. What does it yeah. look like? Is it not? Well, it looks like a big incision that's all healed up, like a big oh, scar. I, I want Holy to look. Holy crap. Not you. Dad's like, you tell me when you want to look. I could show you a video and stuff. Holy crap. Dad. I didn't know it was that bad. That's pretty big. Oh my god. Good look. Look. No, I'm scared. No, it's don't be scared. Like, oh my gosh, it's bad. It's Just a big incision, but it is healed. It's not yeah. draining. It doesn't yeah. look infected. Looks good. It looks very healthy. Oh, okay. okay. Uh huh. See, so, yeah. Take a deep breath. I thought I was expecting like the bone to look all nasty. No, so you have a really big incision there. Oh, I I, I thought they did the incision on that side. Yeah. It looks really good. So yeah. we wanted to make sure that it wasn't red and infected looking right. or had pus that draining exactly. out of it. It looks really good. Why is it black? That's dried blood. Oh. Yeah, that's all that is. <laughs> now I want to tell you guys something. Remember I said it's stitched with this clear like fishing line. Yeah. Sometimes we leave the tails of it hanging out and you can kind of see them. I don't, I don't see that now, but if when this heals up even more, you notice that at home, you can just take a nail clipper and clip it off right at the surface of the skin. But I don't see gonna it. Have a bandage on it. We're gonna put just. We don't need this big guy anymore. We'll put maybe something just like this. Okay. Jesus. Uh -huh. Yeah. Holy cow. That looks familiar. And this is where your fracture line was, right in there. Oh gosh. And then from the side view. Oh wow. D, you cannot fall down. Okay, so if that means you got to stay in a wheelchair. That's what you do, okay? No walking on this leg mm -hmm. until we see you back in four weeks. But now that things are looking better here, we can start working on a little bit of rehab efforts. And that would be with this foot. I want you to start working that foot like this, moving your yeah, ankle. Have you been doing some yeah. of that? You could trace the alphabet, you know, make the capital letters with your foot, pretend your foot's the pencil and make an A, a B, a C, okay? I want you to do that. That will help strengthen up this calf muscle. Because this incision looks good, um, over the next you know week or so, he could start working on a little bit of gentle knee range of motion. Okay. So this, when we're sitting like this, this is considered 90 degrees, straight up and down. We don't want him to bend that knee more than 90 degrees mm -hmm. until we see him back in four weeks. But when he's at home resting on the couch, you guys, you, he would need help. We'd want you to do it more than him. You could help him just try to slowly bend the knee a little bit and for sure make sure he can get full extension. I go like this when I'm lying down. Yes. Yes, so we want full extension. And then slowly he can work on bending it a little bit with help from you. Okay. okay? We don't want him necessarily trying to do that on his own. 
but no more, he won't be able to do it right away, but eventually that will improve and no more than 90 okay. for the next four weeks. What I'm saying, you know, like, can I move my leg back and forth like that? Yeah, because that's actually moving from your hip. Yeah. So it's totally fine for you to use your hip, okay? Yeah. Totally fine. I still want this whenever you're asleep or up and moving with crutches or within your home or whatever you're doing, this needs to be on. Yeah, when I just like lay down, it's... Yeah, like when you lay down, it can be like off. this. And during those times is when we work on a little range of motion with the knee. I think we fixed you up a little better today. How's that feel? Good. We'll bring you back down. We ask that all patients, visitors, and staff wear a mask. Please follow instructions on posted signs to help promote social distancing. Thank you for your partnership in helping us create All of this stuff is crazy for me. It makes me think of Total Recall, the original version. The, the feeling of watching that and seeing how futuristic it was it being like a reality now it's just crazy also through this whole process like being there with him like my knee feels it <laughs> like if you've been injured and you feel someone going through pain you feel the pain with them right so like my knee hurts I was actually hurting before he got hurt it's like kind of like something's gonna happen. It was like a warning sign. Uh, there's a line. We got a traffic jam. Good. Anything else? 